911 calls began pouring into dispatchers moments after the first shots rang out. It is clear the gravity of the situation was quickly understood by those who answered the calls for help. 911, where's your emergency? Yes, we have an emergency at West Side Middle School. Well, we've got everybody in route. Everybody's in route. Okay, just be somewhere where it's safe. Okay. Stay inside. Okay. Stay inside, okay? Please. They're there, honey. To fathom the magnitude of what happened that day at West Side is to understand how quickly everything happened. It only took seconds for this tragedy to unfold and years for ripple effects to still be felt. It was a beautiful spring day, the second one back after spring break for students and teachers when everything changed. Andrew Golden pulled the fire alarm at 12.30 p.m., then ran to a wooded area behind the school where Mitchell Johnson had an arsenal of guns. And then all of a sudden we start hearing this big old loud sounds. As students filed out, the pair opened fire. I'm outside and all of a sudden there was shooting. Students, confused, thought the first shots were fireworks. They saw classmates hit and began to run. Doors locked behind them. Construction and mud made their escape route worse. To get away, they had to run with no cover through the hail of gunfire. Do you know if there's only one shot? No, this is several. Law enforcement located the shooters and secured the scene. Every ambulance in the Jonesboro area was on its way to Westside Middle School. By 1245, an emergency alert goes out at St. Bernard's. Doctors, nurses, and staff began assembling at the ER. Messages said this is not a drill. There was one dead on arrival, one died in the emergency room, and one, one uh, died in the operating room. Teacher Shannon Wright died in surgery after being shot in the abdomen. At the same time, a candlelight vigil was being held on the Arkansas State University campus, and Jonesboro had every national news organization on its doorstep. 15 satellite trucks in the school parking lot. Right now on KAITA.com, you can see a full timeline of events, read the depositions of the two shooters, and see raw interviews from those we talked to for this special.